Hi everyone, it's Jill with sleepopolis.com and today we're going to be talking about the Parachute Percale sheet set. Now, if you have listened to a podcast in the last year or so, you've probably heard of Parachute. You've probably heard people during sponsored segments talk about how awesome Parachute sheets are and I have to say, they're telling the truth. Parachute's also a really cool company. It was started after the founder went on a trip to Italy and she came back to the States and wanted to find sheets that were as comfortable as the ones that she had been sleeping on, couldn't find anything that she thought was at a reasonable price point, decided to start her own company. Parachute sources the cotton for its percale and also its sateen sheets. Uh, it is 100% Egyptian cotton and the sheets are made in Portugal. You can go on Parachute's website and see a pretty cool video about how the sheets are made. I definitely recommend checking it out. Parachute's also a cool company because they donate one uh, mosquito net to a nonprofit from the United Nations called Nothing But Nets. If you buy a Venice bedding collection, which is the sheet set plus a duvet cover. I should note that because Parachute is European inspired, the default sheet set does not actually include a flat sheet, a top sheet. It's a fitted sheet and two pillowcases. If you like a top sheet, I am somebody who likes a top sheet, you can add it on. So we're going to take a closer look at Parachute sheets in just a second. Now comes the fun part in the video where I'm actually holding the camera up over my head, sitting on the floor next to my bed. My cat Kaylee over here decided she also has some opinions about the sheets that she wanted to share. So as you can see behind me, my mattress is really deep. This is about a 12 inch mattress. And what that means for me is when I'm looking at sheets, I need two things. I need the fitted sheet to be able to get snugly, tightly, all the way over my mattress without shifting while I'm sleeping, and I want the flat sheet to have enough extra fabric on the sides that I can tuck it under the mattress. Now, I mentioned before, Parachute does not include a flat sheet by default, but when you order the flat sheet extra, you get that extra wide sheet, which is awesome. So you can see behind me, it is tucked in under the mattress, and if I just pull this extra fabric out here, I swear it's like this on both sides of the bed, I didn't just shift it over for the video. But you can see just how much extra material is here hanging out on the side of the mattress. So you get that really snug, cozy hotel tuck, which is just awesome. You can also see behind that, the, there we go, the fitted sheet is tucked all the way under the mattress. It's about, the whole length of my hand still under the mattress. I've been sleeping on these sheets for about five days. I have not had to fix the sheets. They have stayed in place. They're great for a deep mattress, which is really exciting because not every sheet is. So we're gonna take a closer look at the pillowcases in just one second. Let's talk about the pillowcases that come with the Parachute for Kale sheet set. So look here and then look here. And you can see those are nice square corners on both sides. There aren't all those extra inches of fabric kind of hanging off to one side like you get in a traditional pillowcase. So aesthetically, looks awesome. The problem with a sham style pillowcase is that when I turn the pillowcase around, this is the opening. It's right in the, it is right in the center of the pillow. And what that means is that you can't turn the pillow over in the middle of the night. Not everybody feels like they need to turn the pillow over in the middle of the night. I do. Sometimes I go to sleep with wet hair and want to flip the pillow so that I'm not sleeping in the dampness. If you are pregnant or menopausal and dealing with hot flashes, you want to be able to flip the pillow over or sometimes just on a hot day. You know, there's that expression cooler than the other side of a pillow for a reason. So, I love the way that these look, but I wish that they had more of an envelope style flap where it would still uh, fold all the way over and give you that nice square corner without there being a seam right down the middle because it keeps you from being able to flip the pillowcase. I will say also that this opening on the side, once or twice in my sleep, managed to get my hand stuck in there. Not a fun way to wake up. Parachute is a company that cares a lot about how its customers take care of the product. So on their website, there are two different places where you can get expanded care instructions for the sheets, and that's in addition to the label that's on every piece of bedding that you buy from Parachute. For both the percale sheets that we're talking about now and the sateen sheets that there's another video for, Parachute wants you to wash with cool water and then dry on low. 
those of you who are like me, who are used to washing with hot water and then drying on high, you're gonna have to get used to this change, but listen to Parachute. They know what is best for their products and they're telling you that this is the way it should be. I would also like to make sure that those of you who like liquid fabric softener know that Parachute discourages the use of that and they discourage the use of dryer sheets. Instead, they say that you should use wool dryer balls and you can buy those from Parachute. You can also buy them on Amazon and there are plenty of other places that sell them. Now, as I mentioned, these are percale sheets. Percale tends to wrinkle more than sateen. You can use a cool iron to get some of the wrinkles out, but if you're somebody who doesn't like ironing your sheets and you can't stand the way that wrinkled sheets look, you might want to stay with the sateen rather than the percale. But there's a trade-off. Parach parachutes, percale sheets, and sateen sheets are both beautiful, they're both comfortable, but the sateen sheets tend to sleep warmer. If you are a hot sleeper, sateen is just not quite as breathable. Percale sheets like these will give you a cooler night's sleep. So if you're willing to trade some wrinkles for a cooler night where you're maybe not going to wake up sweating, it's worth consideration. Before we go, let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons of the parachute percale sheet set. A pro for me, big pro, is that the sheets are big enough for my mattress. The fitted sheet wraps all the way around my deep 12 inch mattress, no problem. And the flat sheet, which I ordered extra, it does not come as part of the default sheet set, but the flat sheet, once you receive it, is wide enough that you can still tuck it under your deep mattress so you get that nice hotel tuck. There are so many sheets out there where the sheet just comes to the very edge of the mattress and there's no way to tuck it and it's so frustrating if you're like me and you like to be really snug and warm in bed. Another pro, something that I haven't mentioned, percale gets softer over time. Now I've only washed these sheets twice. Once before I first slept in the, the percale sheets and again for a second round just to see if they softened up and they do. So after two washes, the sheets are softer than they were out of the box and I can only imagine how much softer they're going to get over time. Another pro of Parachute, and this is less about the sheets but more about the company, is that nonprofit donation that I mentioned. The fact that this is a company that is concerned with social good makes me a little bit less concerned that the Parachute sheets are slightly on the pricier side compared to some of the other direct luxury sheet uh, companies. So cons, let's admit that that's a con too. The Parachute sheets are at a slightly higher price point than some of the other competitors on the market up to you whether you think that they're worth it. Uh, another con, as beautiful as these pillowcases look with their square corners, they're, oh, and that's my cat, Simon. Uh, those square corners come at a cost of having the uh, seam for the pillow sham right in the middle of the pillow so you can't flip it when you get too hot or your pillow gets too wet because you're too lazy to blow dry your hair before bed. Another con is the same con that I will say is true of any percale sheet set, and that's just the wrinkles. Uh, there are plenty of ways to get around it if you're willing to iron or if you're willing to kind of re-wet the sheets and smooth them out. I don't know that it's necessarily worth it. The slightly rumpled sheets don't bother me that much and I'm willing to trade a comfortable, cool night's sleep for those wrinkles. So it's a con, but it's only a con if you're really concerned about the aesthetic of having super crisp sheets. That is it for now. There is a full write-up of the Parachute Percale Sheets and the Parachute Sateen Sheets on sleepopolis.com. I will see you next time. Music